Hello everyone, welcome to Farm Report Tutorial Lesson 9 on our first template. So today we're going to make our first report. And the lesson will include report, chart design, parameter drop-down box design, data linkage, and also in the final display we're going to test the visualize and query. So first, let's just take a look at the final result that we're about to make for today. So this is going to be our final result for the report. As you can see, we have the region for the query section, and also we have the upper section for the report, down section for the chart. So that's going to be our final result. All right, so now let's make our first report. Click on here to make a new template. Next, under the serve, we'll have the Define Data Connection. In here, we're going to check our database connection. So if you want to learn more about database connection, please go and watch lesson one. All right, so next, we're going to create our data set. Still, we're going to use DB query data set as an example because we want to make parameter from data set. So in today's lesson, we will use sales volume, this data table, as our example. So next, we're going to use where to lead to the following SQL language command to create our data set parameter. So in here, we're going to use region as our parameter. OK. So next, hit the refresh button. As you can see, we already have the region to test. Click on preview and uh, type one of the data on the region table, East China. And uh, as you can see, we already have every data, data under East China. So we successfully created our data set parameter. So next, we're going to add another data set. So the reason why we need to add another data set is because we want to select some specific data from this uh, sales volume data table. So in here, we're going to use uh, salesperson. That's one of the data we need to select. And also, we're going to type another command, sum, to sum up the sales for each salesperson. So sum sales volume as our total sales. So that's because under each salesperson, they have a lot of different products. So we want to sum up the total sales. And also, we want to see the total sales grouped by different salesperson. So when you're typing grouped by salesperson. All right, so by now, we have done the define our data set. So that's going to be the data pre preparation part. So let's save it. First template. OK. All right, so now let's design the actual report, the data table part for the display. So first, we're going to merge the cells from A1 to D2. That's for our title. So for this table, we're going to call it region cell situation. All right, so next, we're going to use this part to do the style formatting. So we're going to make it center. And also, we're going to make the title a little bigger by selecting a bigger size for the front. And also, make the front bold to look better. All right, so that's going to be for our title. Next, we're going to frame the main body for the table. All right, and still, we're going to merge more cells inside this table because it's going to use for different title entry. OK. Expand a little bit. And we're also going to make the main body front centered. So next, we're going to insert slash from cell element. We have the insert slash line. So the idea of slash line is to make more titles and put them all in one cell. So all we have to do is follow this format. So for example, we want product, bar, then salesperson, bar, then region. So these three title is going to be under one cell. So we can see the final result showing here. So from cell A3, as we merged, we have three title within one. All right, so now we're going to drag every data to the corresponding cell region and salesperson. And then we're going to let them 
expanding vertically by default. Also, in here we're gonna drag product. So we want to show every product. So we're gonna let the product expand in the horizontal way. All right, so next, we're gonna drag sales volume on the product. So C4 is gonna be our sales volume. So C4 has a default left comparison cell, which is B4. So B4 is gonna be our salesperson. So in other words, the sales volume is gonna expand according to different salesperson. So in here, we're gonna do a little extra step. We don't actually have to do that, but for this situation, we'll have to change the data column for C4 data setting from group to summary. So that's because under this uh, data table, sales volume, there exists multiple same name salesperson. So we'll have to merge all of the data together. So in here, we're gonna change to summary for sales volume. Move on to A5, we're gonna write total here for this row. Move on to C5, we're gonna insert our function here. So basically, we want to add a sum of function to sum up uh, C4, which is our sales volume. All right, so in this way, for C5, it's gonna be our total sales volume expanding through different products. So next, we'll move on to D3. Gonna write the total sales here. So also, we're gonna drag total sales from DS2 here and let the total sales expand vertically. So this total sale will expand according to a different salesperson. Still, we're gonna write another function for D5, which is still a sum of function to sum up D4, the total sales. So in cell D5, it's gonna be the everything's total. All right, so we'll have another step to find the data for C4 and the D4 because they're from different data sets. So click on D4, filter condition. We want to set the sales person from DS2 equal to the sales person from DS1. So in this way, uh, DS1 and DS2 will binding together to the same sales person. All right. Next, entering the parameter setting page, add all the parameter region. Next, click on the little widgets down, choose drop down box. And next, we're gonna hit on data dictionary to do the widget data binding for parameter. So last time I was talking about binding data using the type of data set. So in that way, we can directly use DS1 because we already have parameter made in DS1. So today we're to going to teach you another way. Use data source from database. Choose our FD, FR demo English database. So in here, we're gonna find our sales volume table. Directly bind our data region. So in this way, we don't have to create another data set. Next, we're gonna holding shift, drag region and the widget to a little close to the query just for the formatting. So that's everything for parameter setting. All right, so next we'll move on to the final part, chart making. So under the region cell situation table, we're gonna select a large area of cells to merge it in order to make space for our cell chart inserting. So on the insert cell element, we're gonna click on insert chart. Still we're gonna use column chart, for example. All right, so next we're gonna do the data binding for this column chart. So this time we're gonna use cell data. So the category, the x, x axis is gonna be B4, which is our different salesperson. And also the series name, different column, is gonna be C3, different products. And also the value showing is gonna be uh, C4, the total sales volume. So move on to the cell expansion. We want to change the parent cell to none. So in this way, we want expanding for this chart. All right, so by now, we're pretty much done with the first template design. So as you can see, we'll have the parameter setting, the report table design, and also the chart. So now let's hit the preview. So by Curie East China, as you can see, we'll have the final result. And uh, let's do another adjustment for the region and the chart. So first, let's just make a frame for the chart to look better. And also for the widget, we want to drag the widget a little bit longer so we can show the four texts for North China and East China. 
All right, so now it looks better. So that's going to be our first template. As we hit different query, you can see every data on the different region. So that's everything. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.